Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. I'm on the floor as I always am. This video was kind of requested by the well-admired professor at Wolverhampton University, Paul Bowden. Uh, his request was to mix CAD into these tutorials, so I thought it would be a great idea to show you how you can turn your AutoCAD elevations into a 3D model. And if you're new to this channel, make sure that you subscribe, like, and leave a comment down below telling me if you've seen this trick before. And Please, please tell me you haven't so I can think I'm related to Einstein only if he was an architect or a um, SketchUp builder. So the first thing that you need is SketchUp Pro, otherwise you can't import the CAD file. And then make sure in the options that you check the same units you use in the AutoCAD file. And then you can double check the scale by measuring something and then start creating faces to all of your elevations. So I've decided because it's on a mountain, I've decided to just delete the mountain out and just add it manually later. Here is the easy wow part. Just like if you were doing an actual model, all you need to do is rotate the elevations and group them individually so it'll be easier for you to move them and then you can fit them into place. And then here's when plans come to place and you can go back and forth and check where everything goes because elevations are 2d drawings and you can't show or see the depth of your model and then you start moving things into place i suggest you start with the front elevation and then move the side elevations to where it's supposed to be and then you can edit these pieces in groups so it'll be easier for you to select Start adding the details, so for example you obviously won't need that or that and then just check the plan for dimensions. I added the surface for water so I know where it is when I'm rendering and if you're doing a really simple project like a rectangle this would take you like literally 20 minutes to just put everything together and then just add the details to the window and extrude or subtract but otherwise it's really easy and this only took me an hour and that's only because I have four forms and they're on the mountain and obviously this won't work if you have a cylindrical building or a deconstructed mm. I think it will I think maybe it just needs a few extra steps and this is also like the best way to test your elevations to make sure they're all aligned I'll also be doing a video about laser cuts and MDF because I am building this by hand and I'll be doing the mountain in a kind of different way because it's really complicated because I have four I have four forms and it's not like any other building I've seen and let me know if you'd be interested in tips and tricks or speed building of this actual model or even other models
now I'm just making sure that the details and everything is in the right position. So this here is pushed back so I'll just use the push and pull tool and then move the windows into place. And then you can start adding details like the window frames or the materials. But for me I didn't because I was going to use Photoshop anyway and I know that this is such a big scale project so if I were to do this in perspective then none of those details would actually show. So this is the end of this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. I'm Rasha Shruru and I'll see you next time.